Hello students, my name is Santosh Kumar H. V. I am the course instructor for the subject Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 1, Metal Cutting Theory and Dynamometry. In that, we are discussing a topic, Mechanics of Orthogonal Cutting. The various studies have been done and it is evident that mechanics of orthogonal cutting will happen in particular fashion. So as you can see in the sketch, so there is a primary shear zone, there is a secondary shear zone. Before shear zone, there is a uncut chip thickness and after the cut, there is a cut chip thickness. Okay. As per this, the deformation will not happen before the shear plane or a shear zone once it nears the shear zone once the material nears the shear zone the deformation will take place okay that is in a primary shear zone that is in a primary shear zone there is a substantial deformation which is taking place this is essentially no further plastic flow as the chip proceeds up the face of the tool and the deformation which is happening on the secondary shear zone that is here is negligible and motion of the chip along the tool face is considered to be similar to that of a friction slider of a constant coefficient from A to C okay so that is it is assumed that it is having a constant coefficient the back of a chip is rough due to strain inhomogeneous that is material is not deforming equally because of a strain inhomogeneous the strain is high at one region another region it is less and that is because of a stress concentration and is because of a stress concentration the stress required to deform the material is not uniform where the material is weak and the stress concentration is high the material will deform at lower value of stress and the where the material is strong that is stress concentration is less the material will deform at higher stress values once the material deforms begin in a shear plane it tends to continue there as though the material exhibited negative strain hardening some metal in the chip strains more than other resulting in a wavy surface on back of the chip as you can see on the back of the chip there is a wavy surface however if you consider the width so if this is the chip thickness and this is the tool and this is the width of the chip and this is the thickness and this is width of the chip and the waviness is not continuous clear as you can see in this figure it is not continuous okay there is a discontinuity in the wavy form form that is along the width of the chip okay next we will discuss about several models of on orthogonal cutting in 1940s Ernst and Merchant have discussed a several model as per this all steady state chips do not behave in accordance with the model of figure A that is in model in figure A that is as per Ernst and Merchant the shear is happening on a single plane that is it is concentrated at particular point in case of figure B it is in a pi shape okay and as you increase the tool radius in a figure c you can see the deformation zone the primary shear zone the shape is not uniform okay this is the model on orthogonal cutting and then we will discuss 
one more model that is card model which is gives you an analogy of how shear will happen in case of orthogonal cutting as per this the shear plane is considered to be a layers there are several layers arranged as a cards one over the other as the tool slides for example the card the plane number 1 is in this place as the tool strikes the plane number 1 it slides over the second plane and further the tool moves the second plane slides over the third and then fourth so like this the shearing will take place layer by layer as the card slides over the other so this is as per the card model however in card model there are certain assumptions which is made like shear to occur on a perfectly plane surface so it may not be actually as indicated in this figure so in this figure we are taking it as a perfectly plane surface but shear may not be happening like that and it does not explain the chip curling process here and it ignores built up edge formation so once the built up edge formation is there it will not deform layer by layer and the, it exaggerates the inhomogeneity of the strain so these are several models which depicts the mechanics of orthogonal cutting